Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Linux distro in review. Let's minimize that and we have here the beautiful coast of Italy and that is because we are looking at Salent OS which is an Italian based distribution that is on Ubuntu and Debian this is the open box version it comes in two different flavors open box and razor QT in the last two weeks we've looked at two full featured Linux distributions that had pretty much everything you'd want right out of the box but sometimes you just need something light and easy and Linux based enter in Salent OS there isn't very much when you first look at it it's quite simple but at the same time I really like the color schemes that they've used the icon placement that they have and the simplicity that Salent OS has to offer you have just a simple file manager the web browser is Chromium. You of course have instant messenger and text editors, a few wallpapers. The applications are very minimal. Uh, for instance, you just have your basic accessories, a couple applications, GThumb, just to be able to look at pictures. Most of what you'll see here I have had to install, GUVC for instance, and the VLC media player simple screen recorder those things I installed it did come with mixer and parole as the video player however I had to install VLC so it would be able to use the codec that I'm encoding so I can test it and make sure that it was working office has nothing more than Abbey word and numeric and then of course you have your internet type applications chromium Gwibber Pigeon for instant messaging, etc. Thunderbird mail client if you use a mail client. Development, of course, just has Python installed and then, of course, all of your open box and system settings. Salent OS has a very nice web page. Right here, they use a lot of the Italian national pride colors from their flag. And their website is a mixture of some English and Italian and I have found that in some of the works some of the stuff within this uh, the things that have been customized have not been converted into English despite the fact that most everything else is English for example if you were to click on the shutdown options here you will see that it's all in Italian and through trial and error I was able to re, re <laughs> sorry about that my wife's phone just went off and threw me just from testing and trial and error I was able to figure out to go back uh, log out reboot and shut down of course I don't know Italian so it's good enough for me as I said you can get Salent OS in two different flavors RT I'm sorry Razor QT and the open box flavor which we have right here very simple to download the installation was very smooth it ran well nothing too complicated the partitioning was easy to go through and you know seamlessly and flawless. I have been through some installers that have given me grief and I've not been happy with the way they were. Unfortunately, uh, you know, I don't want to say them at the top, some of the ones that bug me the most, but this one was a good one and it runs very well. It's been very stable for me. The updates have gone through without any issues. It does use a Synaptic package manager, so very easy to be able to install packages. I was able to install the simple screen recorder and the GUVC view application very easily through uh, 
the Synaptic Package Manager. All in all, it's a smooth, small platform that works very well. Now you ask sometimes, why would I need a system that just has a little? Well, Linux in itself is very stable and very strong and you can do so much with it. So maybe you don't have the hardware uh, capacity that the large hard drive, you know, lots of RAM. This is going to work well for you on possibly an older system. If I didn't mention it, which I don't think I have, this is only built in uh, x86. It's not 64-bit, so it will work on that older hardware. And because of it using OpenBox, then it's going to have a very quick response time within those systems. DistroWatch has a little bit about it here, and it does talk about how it is good for its lightness and simplicity. And I'd also like to mention that it does talk about here on the home page how it is inspired by the Salento land molded by the sea and wind, steeped in history and art in the south of the Italian peninsula. It is very beautiful and if you look at some of the wallpaper that comes with it, you will see that it looks like a very nice place to be. Kind of gives you a peaceness about the whole system. Well, that should wrap up this distribution review on Solento S. If you're looking for something a little on the lighter side, this is a good OS to try out, check out, and run. As always, thank you for watching. If it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for your comments and thanks for your views. I hope you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy making them for you and talking about them. hope you've been enjoying some of the other Gen 2 and Linux tutorials I've been trying to do. That's kind of the direction I'm not trying to pigeonhole myself into just talking about Gen 2 as much as I want to be able to kind of open it up and if someone has a problem or a question about a specific distribution, uh, maybe I can throw on a distribution that's related to there, see if I can figure it out for them and then we'll do a recording and, re and throw it up there and hopefully that helps you guys out when you run into a snag. We all run into a snag. Even I run into snags. I mean it was a devil of a time for me to get Gen 2 running on my new hardware. I think I am at a hundred percent at this point in time however and it looks very good. Uh, I still have a lot of issues with other OS's and that's why I have gone back to my old hardware. This is running on an HP DV8T, which is about four years old. But it does have a Core i7 in it, and at least six gigs of RAM, and plenty of hard drive space. So it's not like I'm running it on an older machine. But it does work much better. So again, I'm starting to ramble, so I'll shut up. Have a great one. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.